FA Cup, Bernardo Silva scores late as Manchester City punish wasteful Chelsea. Bernardo Silva made up for the penalty kick he missed in midweek as defending champion Manchester City returned to the FA Cup final with a difficult 1-0 victory over Chelsea on Saturday. Silva messed up his lines badly as City were painfully eliminated from the Champions League on penalties at the hands of Real Madrid on Wednesday, but he was the winner of the match when they rose up at Wembley. The Portuguese international scored the only goal in a difficult match six minutes before the end, keeping City's hopes of retaining the domestic double alive. Chelsea were left to rue a host of missed chances, with Nicholas Jackson particularly blamed, in what proved to be a poor day for the Senegalese striker in front of goal. The Londoners were also frustrated at not getting a penalty kick. City, without the injured Erling Haaland, were not at their best, and may still be feeling the effects of their grueling encounter with Real Madrid. With former City midfielder Cole Palmer, Chelsea made most of the progress. Palmer played into Jackson early but his shot was too easy for Stefan Ortega. Manchester City's first opportunity came when Kevin De Bruyne passed the ball to Phil Foden with a perfect pass, but he went wide of the goal, trying to get around Jorge Petrovic, and Chelsea survived. Chelsea had a big chance when Jackson raced home from a long ball from Enzo Fernandez. Jackson had only Ortega to beat but he hesitated on the edge of the penalty area and failed to shoot or get around the goalkeeper. City were caught out again when Malo Justo escaped down the right flank but were unable to pick out Jackson in the middle. Palmer also had a chance for himself with some nice moves but didn't get any power to his shot. At the other end, Mark Cucurella was cleared off the goal line after Silva got on the end of a Jack Grealish cross but the flag was then raised. Jackson failed to deliver the ball again at the beginning of the second half after running into the penalty area, but he shot weakly at Ortega. The ball came back to him when Palmer crossed, but his header was weak and direct at Ortega. Chelsea had another chance when Palmer's free kick struck Grealish's arm. Referee Michael Oliver missed the call, with Chelsea's frustration at not getting a penalty compounded by the referee awarding a goal kick. Jackson also wanted a penalty after going down after a race with Kyle Walker but none was granted. Grealish was hit hard in the knee in a challenge from Felipe Caicedo and was withdrawn moments later. The England international expressed his frustration to officials as he left the field, perhaps suggesting that Caicedo, already in custody, should have been dealt with more harshly. Jeremy Doku, Grealish's replacement, made a lively entrance and immediately tested Petrovic. As time wore on, the match became a test of City's resolve and the lively Doku made a noticeable difference. He was involved in finally breaking the deadlock, playing a smart ball past fellow Belgian De Bruyne. De Bruyne pulled the ball back across the goal and it hit the ball and reached Silva, who did not make any mistake. It was a beautiful moment for the Portuguese, who celebrated vigorously with relief and joy. There was no way back for Chelsea as City, befitting their champion status, held on.